AP class drawing. Now let's discuss about the processes that takes place inside the AP class drawing. The AP class drawing provides scalability features along with the fault tolerance and giving a great platform to upgrade these APIC software with, uh, with no downtime. When I say APIC software, it basically means the firmware version of the APIC controllers and not for the leaps. So uh, we, can, we can upgrade the APIC software with no downtime, but when we are upgrading the leaf and the spine part, obviously we can do you know uh, even nodes together and odd nodes together and making sure there is no downtime for the applications as well. The cluster really scales well uh, by load balancing the data and processing on the complete cluster. It is also uh, it's it's al it's also able to uh, expand the cluster size if load increases in future because the data is shared and replicated in all the epic controllers. It provides much better fault tolerance in case of any con epic controller fail uh, failure. Now let's understand how the replication process works among the APIC controllers cluster during when everything is working fine and if in case a uh, APIC fails. Now let's see a new end host attaches to the ACF fabric. Currently uh, APIC 1 is the leader of the cluster and hence leaf uh, contacts the APIC 1 for providing a replica for, for this connector. This new information is shared and shared with the other controllers to be stored in their local data stores as well. Now, let's suppose before replicating the data, the controller APIC1 fails. As a result, a new APIC leader uh, election takes place and chooses a new leader, which is APIC2 in this case. Now the leaf contacts APIC2 for config replication. As soon as APIC1 comes back up, DB syncs uh, synchronizes the data from APIC2 to APIC1. Now the replication we just talked about occurs using different application, uh, I'm sorry, appliance uh, director vectors. The first one is the appliance vector which shows the cluster nodes address and the state. The replica vector is the one which shows the sharding and uh, replication states inside the cluster. It also shows the leader for each shard. Shard basically means the uh, a chunk of data that is present at that particular controller. Then comes the fabric node vector which helps with the address and state for the switch nodes basically the leaf and the spine switches nodes okay now what to do when an epic fails and needs a replacement it's it's very simple you just have to decommission the faulty epic from the cluster from the GUI of course power it down physically and replace it with a good hardware you just need to give the initial fabric initialization configuration details same as that of the cluster and it would be able to communicate to the cluster then. We simply then have to commission the device and confirm the state from the controller cluster state in the GUI. As we are seeing all the green green green. This show cluster command. It's, it's a very handy one when, when you need to check the overall health of the cluster over CLI. 